sorry students continuing part a in this video so as we say we, will, we are going to find that a inverse is equal to what so do not forget about this theorem the theorem say if we have a determinant is equal to zero there is a determinant is equal to zero so then the in, uh, inverse of the matrix does not exist so it means that if if you want to find this it should be the determinant not equal to zero so this example on that uh, what you say uh, this about this explaining this theorem so here as i told you we have a tree we will we are going to use the second row why because i know the determinant is equal to zero multiply something zero again multiply something zero again multiply something then we don't forget about the positive negative so i have positive negative positive negative positive so positive three okay so it remains what if we, it remains one two zero five six two two four zero so also again i'm going to use the another trick so i say equal to three okay we are going to use this column y because we have got two uh what do you say two more zero so is equal to what equal to you can say is equal to zero positive negative positive negative so negative two okay multiply what one two two four uh -huh. then zero for that one okay dear so if you have a zero this will may help you to find more things so I'll get minus 6 multiply determinant of 1, 2, 2, 4. And you know, this one is easier. Why? We call it equal to minus 6. 1 by 4 minus 2 by 2. It's equal to 4 minus 4 and is equal to minus 6. Multiply 0 is equal to 0. So A is equal to 0, the determinant of A. So it means that means that a does not exist we cannot find the inverse for such uh, a square matrix because a inverse depends on the determinant of the uh, matrix that we have that's all about this example okay dear about all example sometimes we need if you have uh, such matrix like that as we have example 5 in page 130 if you have such matrix like that you should be more careful this is 4 by 4 2 minus minus 4 and 3 5 minus 3 11 and 24 6 1 minus 12 2, 2, 7, minus 1. So in that situation, you see what? Say find the determinant. Find the determinant. Or show the matrix has does uh, the inverse of matrix is exist or not. That's the question. So a inverse exists or not. If the question is like such like that, uh, don't find. I didn't say find the a inverse or I say does it exist or not. So it means that show me. When I say show me, means that find the determinant of a. That's all. Here's the question. So I see there is no zero here. So how we solve, how we control this subject, how we uh, find the easy way. You can see there's a relation between the first row and the third row. So you can use the row or column transformation. Okay. Transformation, which means that we saw before that there's three operators or operations can work on the row what was the it was the first the interchanging r1 r3 for example multiplying such to such number scalar to the what do you say to the row or for example we have we say r1 minus 2r2 or 2r2 is equal to such thing else 
or in the R, for example, R1. So in that case, we are going to try, in that case, we are going to try to use such operator on the row or column. If I, if I multiply, if I multiply, so this A, if we multiply minus, uh, we have R3. If we multiply minus 3 to R1, okay, then put it in R3, we get what? Just let me know. In that case, we get what? We will get We will get a new uh, matrix which is equal to uh, 8, 2, minus 1, minus 4, 3, 5, minus 3, 11. If I multiply, let me do it here. Okay. We multiply minus 3 to here to r1 minus 3 to r1 i'll get minus 24 minus 6 uh, 3 12 okay plus r3 i'll get what here's r3 24 6 1 minus 12 so i'll get 0 0 4 0 now you know why we do this one why I did that one? Because I need to change this one to 0, 0, 4, 0. We have a matrix and I want to find the uh, determinant of A to show you there's an inverse exist or not. But we cannot do it directly because we need what? Because we need uh, a more 0 in the here to the word. The, this will be more uh, complicated and if I don't do like that, I cannot find it. You need more work. That's why. So in that case, I say A is equal to uh, 0, 0. We have just 4. So let me find a negative, po positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So we'll get 4. Okay. Then it will remain what? If I get select 4, 8, 2, minus 4, 3, 5, 11, 2, 2, minus 1. Okay, dear. So yeah, this one, uh, I will get uh, such a uh, matrix like that. And I'm going to see that is, there's any relation between these columns or row. You can see if there's any relation or not. Can we change anything if I multiply 2, okay, to the third column, 2 to the third column, you can see. I'll get more zero. How? We multiply two to the third column and we add with the first column and we put it in the col first column. So I'll get what? Or you can see column one plus two column three, then column one. This is better. So here I can use the column. So I will get four, okay. You can see two, five, two is fixed, and also the third is fixed, right? Because there is no change here. We just work on the first column. I'll get 11 minus one. And this one will change to what? Two multiplier minus eight plus eight, zero. Two multiplier 22. 22 plus here, I'll get 25. Okay. Because I'll get 25. And to multiply here plus here, I will get zero again. So you can see it's easier now. How? You will multiply this one. So it's equal to four, zero, twenty-five, zero, two, five, two, minus four, eleven, minus one. Okay, dear. 
So to find in this one again, I have a four. So positive, negative, negative twenty-five. You can see it remains four two minus one. So again, you know it's minus one hundred. How to find the determinant of two by two? It's easy. Two by minus one minus four by two was equal to uh, six minus two plus eight was equal to six. Now I have one hundred multiplied by six is equal to minus six hundred. So a not equal to zero then a inverse exists. That's all. I think it's not uh, difficult. I just need more work on this situation. Another subject. Uh, that's why I told you later we will find the such way to find the inverse of in the previous section. I told you that in this situation you can find a, a, another way for finding the inverse uh, of what of uh, three by three or four by four. Even I will give you more chance to find the inverse, the definition of inverse. But now this one will help you to reduce the work. So I don't forget about the two points. We are going back to these points. Now we have a Kramer's rule. Before we finish this subject, we, are, we have a Kramer's rule. The Kramer's rule is a rule for finding or solving such linear or any uh, other uh, question. By what? By using this strategy. The first, I'm recommending you to directly go to there. Okay? Read the strategy. And you should know about the d, dx, and dy. You have what? You have equation. I'm going to uh, apply this rule over your uh, example 6. So on example 6, we have page 132. We have a solve, use... Kramer rule to solve to solve what two x plus six y minus one x eight y two. So in that case, in that case, please do not try to use the previous one, the one point one. You can solve this one by one point one, but it's not uh, acceptable because I say use the Kramer's rule. So the Kramer's say that. You need d and dx. The d is equal to, you can see, as I mentioned it here, you see it's equal to the first coefficient of here, okay, d, and the second coefficient of here, and go on. So, I'll write down d like that. I say 2, 6, 1, 8, okay, dear? And you know how to find this one, it's easy. And I say dx is equal to, I'll fix this one, and instead of x, I'm removing this column of x. I'm going to use that. That's all about the technique. So also I say dy or you can see dy is equal to again you should fix here 2 1 but you need to cancel here the y axis. So instead of this one you should put that one. That's all about the uh, what you say the Kramer's so rule is not difficult. So in that case I say 2 8 is equal to 2 8 minus 1 by 6 and to equal to uh, 80 minus is equal to 10 and maybe sorry you can see here is equal also the result I'm going directly to use the result is equal to minus 2 and the other uh, will be equal to uh, so you minus 20 and this one will be equal to uh, 5. So for solving the equation you see x is equal to dx over d and y is equal to dy dx sorry dy over d. So you know you have a 10 we have 10 and here minus 20 and here we have a 5 so in that case it's equal to uh, is easy minus 2 and this one is equal to 1 over 2 that's all about the solution so please try to use this uh, strategy to multiply or to find 
this again. So here you have 3 by 3, you see 1.2, but I say use the Kramer root, it means that 8.6. So in that case, the d will be equal to what? The d is equal to 2 minus 3, 4, 2 minus 3, 4, uh, 1, 0, 6, 1, 0, 6, 3 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 2, 0. So, it, and you know how to find, you have a zero, you know how to find the determinant. Again, dx will be the same thing, the changing the first column, changing the first column to that result, so 1, 0, 5. And dy will be what? dy will be the same, but we will change here. We change to here. And dz, because you have a, also the third uh, variable, so you have what? Uh, we have the same here, but we change it to 6, 4, 6, 0 to 1, 0, 5. And we find because we have a 0, 0, you can see it's easy to 0, use the 2, 0 is here. Uh, you can use that one. So the value is equal to 1. So x is equal to that. y will be equal to that as we did before. Nothing changed. Okay, dear. Forget about the area, area of the triangle. We don't need to use that, that techniques for finding the area. So example 8 will cancel in this lecture. So please try to solve the rest exercise. And uh, next uh, lecture will be uh, finding the inverse, how to find the inverse of uh, 3 by 3. I'll give you uh, a special more exercise about the a inverse for uh, a three by three or more or more or four by four you see four four i uh, thank you for watching the video we finished 1.6 here